All right, all right, everybody. This is DJ Blazing coming at you. And right now, I'm with my homeboy, Poncho. Poncho, welcome, welcome. I know that I missed out last time because I was gone stuff. But let me tell you something. The performance that we did Monday at the UPAC Student Lounge was awesome, man. Oh, man, DJ Blazing, man. You got me up before I got to go to breakfast and got to go to class, man. But, you know, <coughs> the performance... At the UPAC Student Lounge was great. It was tremendous. It was a moment that people will never forget. And I'm truly thankful to God, my Lord and Savior, that we did a performance and we done one great show. And with Tuan at 60 Seconds, man, that was awesome. Oh, indeed, indeed. Most definitely, most definitely. Now, you said last time you was here about the call out how you want all former and current UPAC varsity men's and women's basketball players and coaches to be on February 13th game. Talk a little bit about that and describe to us why you said that. But you know, uh, the reason that I did the call out is I want people to witness history on February 13th, 2016. Yes, uh, all the seniors are going to be playing for the very last time. And I'm going to be joining varsity, the one and only time, folks, that you will ever see me in a varsity basketball a jersey. The one and only time, so you have to come to February 13th, 2016, wherever you're at around the world. And I hope and pray to God that they broadcast this game live on WYNT, on CBS, on Fox News, CNN, ESPN, ABC, NBC, TNT, wherever uh, basketball can be broadcasted at, Pac TV, EKB TV, wherever. I want people to watch and witness history because that is going to be a momentous uh, event. Not only a momentous event, but all former varsity men and women's basketball, UPAC players and coaches and staff is going to be right there on center court. Me, McCarty, KK, Jackson, Coach Kelly, Coach Donald, all of us, including the past coaches and past players, is going to be on the court. But not only do I want varsities basketball, uh, former UPAC men and women's players and coaches. I want all JV basketball men, women, coaches and players as well, girls and boys. So JV and varsity will all be standing on the court together, taking a great momentous pick and we'll be saying, fight, you pipe fight. And until I get on the basketball court, until I'm playing that one game, people all over the world, all over the nation. Every UPAC men and women's game, they'll be chanting, We want blazing, let's go poncho. We want blazing, let's go poncho. Until February 13th comes, everybody will be chanting, We want blazing, let's go poncho. We want blazing, we want poncho. That's going to be trending all over the world. So not only do you want varsity's basketball players to be there, but you want all the former JV's players to be there and coaches? Yes, JV ball players, man. It's like the Super Mega Force Rangers all getting together, all Power Rangers and stuff. And speaking of that, before I get lost, I want you all to vote for me to be uh, in the pre-concert before Jeezy and Wheezy, before Young Jeezy and Lil Wayne get on a stage, November 28, 2015. All you gotta do is go online and see my post on Facebook or on Twitter and go to Too Hot Radio and listen to my song. Be on the lookout for it. Wow, wow. Folks, take some notes right now because if this happens, I'm telling you right now, this is gonna be a moment in history you will never forget. Now, speaking of history, talk to us about new music and new videos. We've seen 60 Seconds music video, we've seen uh, I Gotta Be The Leader, we've seen Crossroads music videos, we've seen the criminal videos, but uh, what's in store for you right now? Yeah, so we're gonna see some new music videos. Uh, DJ Blaze, we're gonna see a 60 Seconds remix, we're gonna see a Kiss remix, a Claim Victory remix, we're gonna see Real Love, Real Love G Mix has to be out by February, and we're gonna see a new mixtape come out, and if I get everything finalized, we're going to see some new singles as well. Whoa, whoa, you mean to tell me a 60 Seconds remix and a Kiss remix and a Claim Victory remix 
and a couple new singles. Oh, hey, I said it, man, definitely. Wow, wow, that is a lot to put in the tank, man. I'm counting on you, man, to do this, brother. I'm counting on you to do this. But now, speaking of that, what's the difference between Harlan County and Pike County? Oh, I mean, I mean, the difference between Harlan County and Pike County. Harlan County, the big red and black. Pike County, the big orange and black. Uh, two phenomenal counties, two phenomenal history. Uh, Pikeville and uh, the University of Pikeville from Pikeville College and then Harlan County High School from K. Wood, Everett's and Cameron High School combining all together as one. I mean, the difference really is marketed and, and uh, business-wise. Harlan County, uh, as far as our music and stuff goes, it would only go so far to the max. But Pike County, they've really helped me as far as my music and videos. They've helped me like grow as a person. And a lot of people has noticed that, uh, especially in 2015 this year rolled around, because they just saw a big change in me. Uh, all I can say is thank you all so much for supporting me throughout the years, or supporting me through the thick and thin, through the good and bad. I know y'all uh, fans out there uh, who support my music and videos every single day. So I just want to say thank you all, and God bless you all so much. Oh, I got to agree with you on that, man. You know, uh, not too big, not too small. Pike County is just right. Harlan County is great and will always be family. And speaking of family, family and friends is one to know. Miss Amaze and talk more in depth about that. And when is she arriving? Uh, like I said, Miss Amazing, uh, she's beautiful, a uh, cleanliness, uh, great attitude, a great personality, always fighting for God, always. And like I said, it's, Miss Amazing is not the girls that I've asked out, uh, back in the past, and I hate to keep mentioning this, the blazing, but it's not Sheree May or Caitlin Chansey at all. Two of my greatest friends ever since I've came here. But they're not Miss Amazing either. I mean, they're great friends and all. They're wonderful friends. But I cannot go with them relationship-wise. I just can't. No, 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 no. Crap to the no, no, no pancakes, like ATM would say. But uh, Miss Amazing, like I said, she could be in Pikeville. She could be... In Rhode Island, she could be in Arizona, could be in New York, California, Mexico, Japan, could be in Tennessee, could be in Texas, could be in Georgia, could be in Florida, could be in Arkansas, could be in Alaska. You never know when Miss Mason's gonna come. I mean, I ain't talking to nobody, talking to nobody right now. I would love to date some of these women here at Pipeville. And matter of fact, I like a few women that I'm going to school with right now at the University of Pikeville. But I'm biding my time because I know Miss Amazing is right around the corner. And Miss Amazing, I know you're out there because I'm looking at you right now. A beautiful sweetheart, Miss Amazing. Mr. Blazing says to you that we will get together soon and we will overcome all the odds. And uh, for the bottom of my heart, I can just say that you are absolutely amazing, amazingly beautiful, always and forever. And shout-outs to all the ladies as well. Like I said, if, uh, just in case I don't, uh, I can't talk to one person or can't date one person, there's 4,000 Miss Amazings out there in the world. And so, all of y'all ladies are wonderful, beautiful in your own way. And I can just say, for Mr. Blazing, shouts to all of you all. Every single lady out there that I'm attending school with, every single lady that's in Harlan County, every single lady that's around the world, shout outs to you all. 